When I think about the films of Tyler Perry, at least the ones that I've actually seen, I can't help but think heavy-handed and mediocre and just quite questionable. I, I don't understand where he's coming from. Taking such great, talented black actors and actresses and giving them such movies that are like, feel like a TV movie, feel like something that you would watch on the Hallmark Hall of Fame or Lifetime channel. It just, it just boggles my mind. I, 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 I just don't know. I mean, he's, he's so successful when it comes to being a businessman and getting movies out there and producing things. Maybe because he produces stuff so fast and gets like 20 movies out a year that uh, this, there's no time to really develop characters and give us a story to care about. It's just really quite frightening and sad because I believe that there are stories out there that need to be told and that can challenge us as a person no matter what our color of our skin is or where we've come from or where we're actually going. So I really have not a lot of hope when I walk into a film even if it says Tyler Perry produced the movie and this is what the case is for the movie called Peoples. Peoples is a film that was produced by Tyler Perry but it actually was written by somebody else and directed by somebody else. And the film actually stars Craig Robinson, Kerry Washington, man, that woman, gosh, she was so great in Django Unchained, and she is such a beautiful, just a beautiful creation of God. That's all I gotta say, so beautiful. I like Craig Robinson, and it also stars David Alan Greer. <laughs> I can't forget that. You know, this, I love the, the comedy styles of Craig Robinson and David Alan Greer. And as I was watching this movie, I noticed that I had seen this film before, but I had seen it when it was called Meet the Parents. And I liked Meet the Parents. So I kind of was like, okay, just I know this movie has done, been done before, but maybe something magical will come out of it. It's not directed and written by Tyler Perry, so maybe he'll just step, step back and give somebody else to have a voice. And overall, I was watching the movie, and I'm thinking, this is not really funny. I'm not laughing, but I don't feel insulted. I don't feel like it's pandering to me. I don't feel like it's just a heavy-handed mess for the most part. It didn't feel that way. It just wasn't really funny. I could feel like the actors and actresses were really trying, and I felt like they did all have chemistry, but it, you know, it just helped like, yeah, I've seen this story before. This is really nothing new. But I like that it doesn't really go for the dramatic part. It's definitely going more for the comedy edge. I just didn't laugh. I honestly did not laugh. I did smile a few times. Maybe a little chuckle came out of me. This movie is not bothering me. It's not trying to shove a message down my throat. It's just trying to entertain me. And so I'm not offended by that and maybe I can find some entertainment value. And I, I was for the most part, I was for the most part finding some entertainment value from this film. And then near the end, okay, so this movie, you know, all relies on everybody really having a secret and it, it just felt like, okay, we know where this movie's going, it's very predictable, there's really no surprises. And when it got to the end and all secrets were revealed and you know, you kind of have an idea where this movie is totally going, I felt like, why? Why can you at least try movie? Why can you at least try to just, you know, give us something that can surprise us as an audience member. Because you have all these really talented people. I mean, a lot of beautiful looking people, men and women, and you just give them just very juvenile things to do that weren't gross or disgusting, but in the end, forgettable. I mean, this movie is entirely forgettable. And that really is sad because I feel like there are just so many amazing moments that could have came from this, you know. I know it's an idea that hasn't has been done to death. I, I, I was I was really trying to enjoy your movie. I really was trying to enjoy you and get something out of you, but in the end you let me down and it's quite it's quite sad. It's just it's just sad and I feel very, very disappointed from this movie. Because I felt like you did have some potential. You took you you could take what the material had well there was really no I mean I think the big letdown is not the actors. I think the actors do some fine work, but it's the material that really lets them down. It really just, it doesn't care about them. It doesn't care about their performances. It just is kind of bland. And a movie like this, I don't know if it could ever work. I mean, I mean, it's worked before in the past, but I don't know if it could actually work again. I'm gonna give Peoples, P-E-P-L-E-S. Hey, it did have Melvin Van Peoples in it, so maybe that's why it's called Peoples. And that last name is Peoples, oh, who cares? I'm going to give the film two stars. Please like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I'm also on Twitter and I'm on Facebook. And please go to welivefilm.com 
and subscribe right here on YouTube to We Live Film. And also go to whoyoutube.com. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day. I'm going to try to.